What's up, everybody? I hope everyone's having a good day. I hope everyone's taking care of themselves, staying healthy, staying indoors as much as possible. I know times are crazy. Times are a bit rough. I hope you're finding some time to stay positive, stay creative, get into the studio, and have a good Sunday. We're going to get right into it today. What I'm going to show you how to do using the brand new oh, vintage sampler from Toy Box Audio. You can go over to their website and pick this up. And it is an emulation, apparently, of a number of different kinds of sampler models. 80s, 90s, clean, Toy 1, Toy 2. They painstakingly went to a lot of work to create a bunch of different models of samplers. And I'm going to show you a concept, very simple, for today. I'm just going to get right to it and show you how to make the sampler a synthesizer. It's a concept that I have seen um, making a sampler, a synthesizer. I've seen people do this all over YouTube using Ableton, using all sorts of stuff. I'm going to show you how to do it in Reactor Blocks using a sampler. Let's do it. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is start with the sound that I have recorded in here, which is... Basically the sound of me turning my microphone on. It's nothing special. So I'm going to turn this down a bit. And... Right? Can you hear that? Listen for it. You really... If there's any background noise where you are, you may not even hear it. Okay? It's it's barely anything. If you can see the waveform, it's, it's nothing. I literally hit the phantom power on my microphone. I happen to have the arm set to record whenever I did that. And when I did that, it recorded this little fart noise. So basically what I'm gonna do is turn that into a synthesizer. And the way that we do that is, um, first I'm gonna set it to a loop. And that way it just plays continuously. I'm going to adjust the start and the end to get it really close. Because basically what I want to do is get it to a point where it's only playing a sliver, just a small sliver of the audio. So where that is, I don't know. And we can adjust the start to maybe a, a different point. But first I'm going to adjust the end here. And you hear how it eventually reaches a point where it starts to oscillate just like an oscillator right that's the idea here so and then what we're gonna do actually just turn this down a little bit so we can kind of talk over it what we're gonna do is I'm going to show you how to control this a bit more. So you can do all sorts of stuff to the sample rate, which can have some cool effects. You can do some, some stuff to the pitch, which can have some really cool effects. Um, we're gonna actually hook in the pitch from my keyboard. And that's it. We've got it turned into a basic synthesizer. Now there's no um, sort of controls around how the envelope sounds, so now we can add some basic envelope controls as needed. Um, but, and if you ever wanna turn that off, you can just go ahead and, and unhook the loop. But basically, that's how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna start there. Let's scroll through the sound maybe and see if there's another section that we wanna play. Maybe we want to play that little section that's got some extra fart right there, you know? No matter where you play it, kind of the same, you know? Definitely probably want to capture more of the louder 
portion of it. So probably that. Or just right there at the beginning, to me, sounds best. So we'll roll with it. All right, now let's search for an envelope. And again, really cool part of Reactor 6.4, which is that we can use all of our user blocks in the search. So we don't have to go digging through. I had to devote part of my brain just to remember how the library works. I still get a bit confused with how these libraries things are and now that I can just jump in here and search for them it's super easy and you can get going real quick so it's awesome so um anyway I'm gonna pull in I mean I really just like that so let's see Just experiment here. Yep, that's not doing what I want. There we go. There we go. Basic synthesizer with the toy box vintage sampler and a toy box envelope. Um, we just got this going relatively quickly.